गुरुदेव ऑनलाइन क्लासेस एस माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू आर ऑल सेफ एट इन योर होम राइट एस वेल सो फर्स्ट आई विल इंट्रोड्यूस माय सेल्फ टू यू माय सेल्फ भारती सिहचा सो आई एम गोइंग टू हैंडल मैथमेटिक्स सब्जेक्ट टू यू एस स्टूडेंट्स डू यू लाइक मैथ इट इज एन इंटरेस्टिंग सब्जेक्ट सो एवरीवन लवड इट right so my dear students in this class i will discuss what you have learned in the class first okay in this session i am going to share some major things in the math subject means what you have learned in the class first right yes first of all what is math what is mathematics do you know that so our day to day life we need mathematics right so without mathematics we cannot lead our life easily right so if you know the knowledge of math we can easily solve all the problems in your day to day life as hey, students what are the things in the maths means what are the major things in the mathematics subject yes you are right obviously you are saying the numbers right students here are some bowls now i am going to count the number of bowls by using numbers look here 1 2 3 4 5 6 the total number of bowls are seven here hey students what i did there yes in that i am counting the number of bowls by using the numbers right as hey, students in the class first means in the first standard you already you learned the numbers from 1 to 100 right students so these are the numbers from 1 to 100 right so now look here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 From one to nine, these are the single digit number. Here is only one number, right? So from one to nine, these are all a single digit number. After nine means from ten to ninety nine. Where to eight? From ten to ninety nine, you are getting the two digit numbers, right? See, for example, take this thirty five. How many digits are there here? Two digits. This is thirty-five. So next, it is sixty-seven. It is a two-digit number because it contains two digits, right? For example, next take seventy-four, right? In seventy-four, seven and four. The total digits are two. So it is a two-digit number. Okay. So from ten to Ninety-nine. You are getting a two-digit numbers. So one thing I want to share with you. Look here. This ten. This is the first two-digit number, and this is the smallest two-digit number, right? And next come to the ninety-nine. Look here. This ninety-nine. It is the biggest two-digit number, and this is the last. Two digit number. So after ninety nine, you are getting hundred, right? One hundred. See, look here. How many digit does it contains? It contains three digits. So look here. One, two, three. The total digits are three, right? So it is a three digit number. Leave this. Leave this. From ten to ninety nine, you are getting a two digit numbers, right? Yes. Now all of you observe the last line. See ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, and hundred. So these are all the ending numbers, right? So while you are writing the numbers, you are ends with this number, right? So these are all called ending numbers, right? As students, now come to the next concept. See here. Which number it is? Yes, you are right. It is twenty-eight, right? So in twenty-eight, it is a two-digit number, right? How can you write this in a words? Yes.
Yes, that is a number name. The number name of given number is 28. So, write down here 28. See here first write down the spelling of 20. The next, A. Orally you have said it is 28. But in words it is 28. Okay. So, come to the second one. What it is? It is a 75. Right? See, first write down the 70, then 5. It is 75. Right? The next. Which number it is? It is 63. Next, 55. The last one, 84. So, I showed the first two numbers. In the same way, you have to write down the remaining three number names as shown above. Right? So, these things also you learnt in the class first. Right? Students. So, now come to the first problem. See, which number it is? It is 36. Yes, well, yes. So, here you have to arrange the given number in the separate columns of 1s and 10s. So, students, first you please notice this one point. While you are reading the number, you have to read the number from your left to right. Means 36, like that you are right, reading. Okay? But, while you are representing the given number under the columns of 10s and 1s, you should... Place the number in the 1's column at first. Later, 10's column. Okay? See for example, in 36, which number is in 1's place? Yes, you are right. The number 6, it is in 1's place. So, I am writing here 6. Yes, now, which number is in 10's place? 3. So, I am writing here 3. So, it is the correct arrangement of the given number under the columns of 10s and 1s. Similarly, come to the second one. It is 79. Yes. Which number is in 1s place? Yes. It is 9. So, I am writing in a 1s column. The next, the number 7, it is in 10s place. So, write down here 7. Okay, now it is 79. Yes, now come to the third one. It is 88, right? Yes, which number is in one's place? Yes, the first 8 or second one 8? Yes, the first digit 8, it is in tens place. The next digit, this 8, it is in one's place. So, I am writing this 8 in the one's place. Later, I am writing this another one 8 in the tens place. So, now it is 88. So, this is the correct representation of the given number in the place of tens and ones. Right? Now, come to our next concept. Yes. So, our next concept is about the types of numbers. Okay. In the class first, already you learned the types of numbers. Tell me what are those? Yes, you are right. The first one is even number, odd number, cardinal numbers and ordinal numbers. So, these are the four types of numbers already you learned in class first. Right? Yes. Now, once again from even numbers. Students, first of all, what is this even numbers? Once you remember. Yes. See, look here. I will show one beautiful example to you. Right? Yes, students. So, look here. Here I have is 8 flowers. Okay? The number of flowers are 8. By using these flowers, I will make a group of 2. Yes? Now, all of you look here. Yes, students. Students, look here. Here, in the total number of 8 flowers, I made here a group of 2. See, so look here. This is the first group. Second, third and fourth. The number of groups are four. In each group, we have two flowers. Right? See.
See, what is an even number means the number can form a group of two. Exactly a group of two. That is called even numbers. How can you identify is this one or not? Yes. See, here is one clue. So, look here. The numbers ends with 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8. This type of numbers are called even numbers. For example, I am taking the number 36. Okay. So, now you tell me is this even or not? Yes. You please observe the ones place at first. In the number 36, which number is in one's place? That is 6. Okay. So, which number ends with 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8? That number is an even number. Now, you can easily say that it is an even number. Okay. So, next example. Take 75. So, first step is you have to observe the one's place. Which number it is? It is 5, right? The already you know the even numbers are ends with 0, 2, 4, 6 and 8. But here is 5. So now you tell me is this even or not? No, it is not an even number. Then which number it is? Yes, you are right. It is an odd number. So come to the second type of number that is odd numbers. So first of all, what is odd number? See, once again you have to observe this activity. Here I have 7 cars. Okay? Yes. So now, once again I will make a group of 2. So, now observe here. Okay. Students, by using 7 cars, I made a group of 2. See, in the first group, I have 2 cars. Similarly, in the second group, I have same number means two cars. In the third group also I have two cars. But see look here. At the last uh, the remaining one car is left. Okay. We cannot make a group of two. Because we need another one car. Then it will exactly a four groups. But we don't have another one car. So this type of numbers are called odd numbers. The numbers ends with 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9. Those numbers are called odd numbers. Students, look here. The numbers ends with 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9. This type of numbers are called odd numbers. For example, take this. 39. Right? Is this even or odd number? How can you check? Yes. First you observe the ones place. Okay? In the ones place, which digit is there? Yes. The it is 9. Right? Yes. The numbers ends with 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. It is called odd number. Right? So, it ends with 9. Then it is an odd number. So next, I am taking the digit 50. It is even or odd? First you check the ones place. It is 5. It is an odd number. So next, take the number 46. Is this even or odd? Yes, observe the ones place. It ends with 6. Yes, already you know the odd numbers ends with 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. But here is 6. Is this even or odd? It is not odd number. It is an even number. Okay? And students, now come to the third type that is cardinal numbers. So what is cardinal numbers? The counting numbers are called cardinal numbers. Already you know the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and so on. These numbers are called a cardinal numbers. The counting numbers means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. These numbers are called cardinal numbers. Students, come to the last number that is ordinal numbers. What is ordinal numbers? 
So these are the numbers. It tells us the exact position of the person or object. For example, look here. Here are three objects. The first one is a pen. Second one is a book. And third one is a ball. Right? So yes, in the first place, which object is there? In the first place, it is a pen. Right? It is in the place. So first. In the second place, which object is there? Yes, in the second place, book is there, right? In the third place, which object is there? In the third place, there is a ball, right? Yes. See, what is coordinal? What is ordinal number? Means it shows the exact position of an object or a person. See, in the first place, it is pen. In the second place, it is a book. In the third place, it is a ball. Right? We cannot change the position. Exactly, they are present in their position only. Right? So, this type of numbers are called ordinal numbers. So, here is a chart of ordinal numbers from 1 to 10. See here. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. 9th, 10th. These are all called ordinal numbers. It shows the position. Okay. Hey students, in this class, you discuss about the numbers from 1 to 100 along with the number names and also types of numbers. Right? Dear students, this is your today's homework. You must complete it in your home. So, in the next class, I will discuss with the new concept. Okay, friends. Bye. Have a glorious day.